on the last episode we talked about the cayenne front shocks so this is the cayenne rear shocks again steel spring so this is a gen 1 2004 um, this will be good all the way through what six maybe a little bit further for the steel spring cars all right so what we're looking at here we took the uh, uh, rear tire rear wheel off now so the strut starts down here and goes all the way up into this cavity again all the work is done from under the truck nothing on the top so you will have let's see one and i've taken a couple of these out so two then around the other side of the strut you have the same type of mount there so you'll have three and four back here uh, up at the top holding the strut in now here's the wonderful part about this the strut wants to push down further than the hub is willing to come down most cars you got to jack this up just a little bit to get everything to fit in this case the spring is under tension just sitting there right now in free form so when you take this bolt out which we've loosened already uh, when you take this out you want to support the bottom of this or things are gonna get pretty exciting and one day you can ask me how I know but that's the actual strut housing now when you get it out the top of it is gonna look like this and this whole hat and I've cleaned all this up but there are four 13 millimeter nuts that sit on these studs and when you take those off now you're down to the part where you can use your spring compressor and you can get that nut off to put the new strut in so that big hat and believe me the first time i tried this i went hey i can't get a spring compressor through there uh, one of the other things that i do is you can see here where i put what looks like a triangle and it lines up with the two markings that are in the uh, the bottom portion uh, that will swip, uh, will swap over to the new strut because the new strut doesn't come with any of that stuff. So we're going to swap all of that over. The one thing that I did do was from Porsche, I got some new boots because or bellows because you can see these are just destroyed. And this part is perfectly fine. We'll switch him over to the other strut. And then the bellows basically will clip down over him. So once you get this off, which is just four 13 millimeter nuts, uh, M M8s. Uh, so once you get that guy off, you can clean them up. It's pretty nasty when you first pull it out. And if you're only doing this once every 14, 15 years, you might as well clean everything. So all the upper and lower rubbers look good and the spring looks good. No corrosion, no looks of uh, anything like cracking. And uh, we'll swap it over and stick it back up in the truck. So if you do decide to do this, be careful because like I said, that strut, actually the spring, will want to pop um, down from here. So make sure you either have it supported or get the hell out of the way. All right, thanks for watching. Check us out at brightworks.com for more of Miss Piggy Tales.